What's going on? Gear up with PEG returns. Ryan here, Jeffrey over there, and Jeffrey's got one of our favorite new toys. Jeffrey, what do we got over there? This is our Sony A7 R3. Uh, it's a very small, lightweight, 4K capable camera. Now I've been seeing that going out on a lot of shoots lately. What types of shoots is that good for? Uh, so this camera, as you can see, one of the reasons being because it's so small, um, is lightweight. So it's great on something like a gimbal platform or a lot of motion systems. Um, it's also got a really big sensor, which makes it great for low light. Um, it also is really good for budget-friendly shoots where you might be working with a nonprofit or just anybody that needs kind of a more affordable option where they can't necessarily accommodate something like a big red crew with five people on it. This is great for those kind of more budget-friendly options. Now, traditionally, I think a lot of people look at a camera like that and they immediately think still photography, but this is very versatile and we actually use it mostly for video, correct? Yeah, we use it almost entirely for video. It can still do photos, but um, and it's great at that, but primarily we use it for its 4K video capabilities. Um, and uh, it kind of serves a nice dual purpose role. It shoots terrific 4K video. It's not a true DSLR, but it's kind of in the same vein as when people used to use DSLRs a few years back, where it has this very big sensor hailing from the photography world that gives you this really beautiful video image, um, all in kind of the same compact size you would traditionally see in a photo camera. All right, so let's talk about sensors because that's something I know I hear our team talk about a lot and I know it makes a big difference when it comes to a different shoot. So. Show us what that exactly means and why it matters. Sure. So this sensor in this camera is what's called Super 35 uh, sensor size, in that same realm at least. Um, that's going to be a lot like a 5D, or a, which was a notorious camera back in the day for having this very large sensor that would give you great depth of field and a really wide uh, field of view. So you can make spaces look really big if you're trying to show off something in real estate, or you can give a very dramatic look. Now if you compare this to something like, a, like your iPhone, for example, um, it's sensor size on the back here. You can see obviously it's a massive difference. And part of the reason why that's advantageous is in really low light situations, if you've ever tried to film something with your iPhone, you'll notice how bad it gets in the low light. Part of the reason is because the sensor is so small on it. This, because it has such a massive sensor, is really, really good in low light. And uh, we use it all the time for that. Very cool. So it's a type of camera that you'll see on a lot of shoots, a lot of different versatile options. And what are some of your other favorite things about it? Um, well, probably my favorite thing about it is just how small of a package it is in terms of like you put it onto a gimbal and it has all the features you need built right in. You don't need to attach a lot of stuff to it to get a really good image. Um, it used to be, you know, if you shot on something like a 5D, you'd have to attach like external recorders. This is one complete package where basically it, it has footage that has the quality you need built right into it. It goes pretty well through post-processing and gives you a great image without you needing to strap a bunch of stuff to it and take the advantages of it being so small and kind of negate them because it gets so big with all that extra stuff. Very cool. It's one of our favorite new pieces of gear that we've been using a lot. You can check out more on the A7 and also on all the other pieces of gear we use on a shoot on PredatorEntertainmentGroup.com. I assume it's already your homepage. If not, it should be. Take that, Google. You can also follow us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all the sorts. We got some great stuff on there as well. So for Jeffrey, I'm Ryan. This has been another edition of Gear Up with PEG.